God's messenger here. For those of you that have been rocking with me, hi, it's good to see you again. God bless you. And for those of you that are new to my channel, what I do here is I drop in and I drop off delivery words directly from the Lord. Um, I am God's messenger. That's my title from the kingdom of heaven. Um, I am employed by the Lord himself. And I come here and I share words with you that the Lord placed on my heart through dreams, through visions, or just by way of thought or travels to drop off and share to you. So I love you. Like, subscribe, share this word with somebody to encourage them in today in the way of the Lord. So hopping right into this word, Heavenly Father, we bless Bless your name on today. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this video. I welcome you into this message. I pray that you allow me to deliver this message just how you gave it to me. And I pray that you bless the hearts, the mind, the spirits, the family, and the finances of each and every person that hears this message in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 So the Lord just asked me to come on today and just to encourage you. There is somebody that's in desperate need of being encouraged. He showed me you in the spirit and you're ready to give up. You're ready to let go, but he wants you to know that he's right there with you, that we are in a season where an abundance of rain is preparing to fall. And he says, do not give up. Do not throw in the towel. Do not throw in the raft because if you throw in the raft, then you will drown. You will sink because it may be a dry season, but an abundance of rain is preparing to come. And when the rain comes, it's going to be a flood like in the day of Noah and you're going to need the raft to survive the flood that's coming but it's not a flood that's coming that's meant to steal kill or destroy that's the trick of the enemy the flood is going to be a flood that comes and it washes away the things you've been dealing with the problems you've been having the place that you've been operating in the depression that you've been going through the strongholds that is have been running through your family it's coming Coming to wash away some seeds that have been planted that were not God. The enemy planted them. And so the Lord wants you to know on today to hold on. Yes, you may be tired. Yes, you may be stressed. Yes, you may be ready to give up. But he sent me here today to stand in the presence, to stand in the gap for him on today to let you know that he loves you and he desires for you to be in a happy place, to be in a peaceful place. But you have to understand that you're not quite finished baking yet. We've all heard the scenario, the example used when you take a cake out of the oven and it's half baked or even cornbread for my cookers out of the oven when it's half baked and then it's it's not good and then when you have to put it back in once you've pulled it out of that heat something happens to it. When you put it back in for some reason when it is done and you take it out it's a little dent it in the inside you know because you poured it out too soon but you put it back in and it did finish baking but it did not bake properly and even though it tastes good I don't know those of you that are cookers you know especially our cornbread eaters it's just something about having a pan of cornbread that's not pretty it just works your nerves so um you get what I'm saying not to get sidetracked because my followers y'all know I will get sidetracked okay so the Lord wants you to know that he desires for you to be properly baked and he's not going to pull you from out of the fire. He's not going to pull you out of the oven before it's time. The heat is necessary. What you're going through is necessary. What you're facing is necessary. The heat is necessary because as you're in the heat, it's helping to properly prepare you for where he's taking you from. You're being baked, you're being cooked, you're being turned. I even see in the spirit as when you cooking a hen or a chicken in the rotisserie oven and it's roasting you're right he's rotating you for a time as such as he's calling you for he's not gonna pull you out the oven before because he needs you to be properly baked so that you're not defected so that you don't have any dents anywhere so that when you come out that you're perfect you're perfect is what thus the Lord says on today. So he says, you may be tired, but don't throw in the raft because an abundance of rain is coming. And when that rain comes, it's going to wash out everything that you've been going through, that you've been dealing with. 
even the things that are not like him because he's doing a works but the enemy is also at work too so don't get it twisted don't be deceived and mix up what god is doing with what the enemy is doing because truth be told we give the enemy a lot of credit for things God is doing and then we take and we glorify the enemy for things that that um that God is doing did I say that right we take and we'll give the enemy credit for what God is doing and we'll give God try and put God in charge of what the enemy is doing so let's not get it twisted and we learn the spirit of discernment by going before the Lord, spending time with the Lord and allowing him to lead and direct us so that we're not deceived by the enemy. So hold on. Don't throw in the tile. Don't give up. Help is on the way. Rain is on the way. A flood is coming. Hold on to your wrath. Hold on to your mind. Hold on to your family. Hold on to that job. Hold on to your insanity. Don't give up because a change is coming. I love you. I pray this word blesses you. Share this word with somebody as led by the Lord and God bless you. I pray that God blesses your family. I pray that he blesses your mind. Like I said, I pray that he blesses your finances because I know so many are going through financial hardship right now. I pray that the bills that are due, I declare and decree in the mighty name of Jesus that the flood that's coming, that is going to wash out debt, student loans, is going to wash away bad credit, is going to wash away late car notes in the name of Jesus. I even hear somebody's core repossession is going to wash away whatever you're dealing with, with that repossession possession in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that he covers your ears, that he covers your heart, that he covers your mind, that he covers those gateways. Be mindful of what you're watching, what you're listening, where you're going. Be mindful of who you're giving your ears to. And I just love you and God bless you. Be blessed in this day. Rejoice. It may not be what you desire for it to be. You may not be where you desire to see yourself, but just praise the Lord that you're alive today, right? That you're breathing today, you're living today, that you have your children today. Even for you that don't have your children, just praise God that you still have life and breath in your body and he can use you as a testimony to another mother who doesn't have her child today, that God is able. You will get up again. You will live again. You will smile again. You will rejoice again. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So it's, it's, they're really blessed that he's called them home. And I don't mean that in an offensive way to anybody, you know, but they're done with this, this struggle, <laughs> this struggle called life. <laughs> I love you and God bless y'all until we meet again. Mm.